another episode of Outcast to Icons. And as always, if you are enjoying the series, please do drop a like on the video. Now, in our last episode, we beat uh, Kijil Jar um, in our Livecom game. And it was great. It was great to win a game. We were flying in the league and just flying in general. And I think this tactic basically works. It definitely works. Well, obviously it works. But my point is that I think that the problem could be later on in the season, particularly with the way that the season is very bunched up. There's a lot of games thick and fast. Like you'll notice here, there's a lot of Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday. And very rarely do you get more than that amount of break so it means that unfortunately we're getting injuries we're getting fatigued and it's i think is going to eventually end up causing us to drop down a little bit but the longer we can keep going where we are the better really that's the way it's kind of gone so i'll just walk you through what's been going on this month we've had some interesting games we've not been quite as sort of superior as we've been in the sort of uh um games we've had lately like against kizil jar we were great and in the last few games before that we were fantastic but i just feel like we're gonna get injuries and it's gonna just cost us a little bit so i do feel still a little bit like we are going to do well uh this season i think we can have a really really solid season and top six is a is an absolute shoe in now it's just a case of you know can we do more can we even qualify for europe or something like that that would be quite tasty so but I think that towards the end of the season, it's going to start to tail off. What I'm going to do in the summer, or the winter rather, in the break basically, is go out and try to find, try to strengthen the squad for positions that we already have. So the role, I don't want to change the system. I want to keep going with what we've got, but bring in backups and bring in better players for the system to try and really get every little ounce out of the team that we've got now that we've got a workable system. That's sort of the way I'm going to do this basically. Because at the moment, I think they're basically playing above themselves at the moment but because of the tactic it's playing to all of their strengths so that's fantastic that's what you want but i think that in order to kick on uh, and do well we're going to need to bring in some players that fit the system even better than some of these guys and plug some of the gaps and really start to make a really well oiled unit that's the plan anyway like we might be winning the league currently but i really don't think we're going to be able to hold on for the full season because we just don't have the squad depth at the moment um, but anyway let's get into the fixture so first up we had the cup game against bula and as you can see for the first time this season we conceded two goals in a game and it was against a lower division team um which was a surprise and um, they weren't bad we were poor and they scored two goals alexander fedorov was very very decent um i was a little disappointed in one of the ones they scored it was actually a long ball knocked over the top that we got caught out on don't know how because everything's designed to stop that but it, it happened basically um they actually went in front, which was the worst thing. Kukarczyk then managed to equalise for us. Kotov and then Shetkin, who'd started up front for us in this one, because uh, I did want to rest a few players, then gave us the lead before Federov got one back for them later on. But we did get ourselves through to the next round of the Cup, and that was the most important thing, was getting through. Uh, no prize money just yet for anything like that, though. Next up, we had a toughie. Well, I say a toughie. We had an away game at Astana 64, not to be confused with their uh, larger neighbours. And this one, we... Like, as you can see, I mean, I'll show you the stats, actually. I think we got a little bit lucky, but at the same time, we did have the only clear-cut chance of the game, and it was our goal. Um, they were mostly shooting from range, as you can see. And again, we had better passing, better possession. Just about everything was still in our favour, but we were still a little bit lucky to get away with the win, I felt, which was, it was great. Because um, Kenja Sarri, oh no, the clear-cut chance wasn't the goal, because it was a free kick. Kenja Sarri's goal was a free kick, um, which was perfect. You know, winning by a goal, that's fine. But unfortunately, we lost Masriku in this game, and that's crucial, because he was out for four to five weeks. And in this league, that's literally like eight, nine matches. And that's a shocker. And we've got some more injuries that are coming up too, to talk about, believe me. Um, but a win there kept us running in the league and kept us pushing on at the top. Next up, once again away at Shetshu, it was a similar kind of story. But we were I feel like we were definitely in control of this one. But they did at least manage to get some of the possession off of us. I found that there's a system that we've not struggled against per se, but have caused us some issues. And that is the um, a 4-2-2-2, two, 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 kind of like where you've got back four, then two DMs in front, wingers out wide and then players above that it that's the one that seems to get a little bit interesting but we're still beating teams with it but it's a bit hit and miss i think a good side that plays that system could cause us some issues uh, as you'll see in a minute but against um Zetsu, we again came up with a good result tungus Bayev put us in front early on before victor dimitrenko from the penalty spot gave us a 2 nil advantage Denis goncharov got one back for them and i was a little bit worried but not really we, we managed to sort of see out the game fairly comfortably um in this one so that that's always nice to see as well next up we found ourselves against Actobi, and this was the first goal, uh, first game that we dropped points in in some time, basically. And it was a little bit of a shame, but unfortunately, like as you can see, we were probably shouldn't have. We were fantastic in this one. You know, 22 shots, 13 on target, more possession. I think we had more click up chances than them again. Three to nothing, like just brilliant and we really didn't deserve to draw this one i don't think but unfortunately i'm going to show you this as well when you concede goals like this still no matter what you do in this game you're always going to get goals like this 
defender just runs underneath it. All he has to do is hold his line and then just simple. I mean, so, so simple. Um, goals like that, you're always going to get them from time to time. And it's a pain in the ass when it happens, but it does. And in this game, it's cost us the result. But, you know, you never, we weren't going to win every game this season, let's face it. But another positive sign there is uh, Tunga Shpaev getting himself a brace in this one. Um, you know, they actually went back, you know, they went in front in this game twice and we managed to peg them back and I really felt we were going to kick on and win, but we didn't. And it was a little disappointing, if I'm honest. Next up was Atarau away and we managed to get ourselves back to winning form with this and that's what we needed, basically. And again, they had a lot of shots in here, but it's mostly, I think it was mostly long range, if I recall. But we went 2-0 up in this one. Mar Mar Marjanovic put us in front early on when he basically had come back from injury. It was from such close range, it was insane. And then we managed to get ourselves a penalty, which he then dispatched to give us a 2-0 uh, lead. Uh, Nuzmir Fajic got on back for them, but it wasn't enough. I feel like we definitely... Yeah, again, still had the most clear cuts in this one. Uh, they did have quite a few long shots, but not a considerable amount. They just weren't particularly accurate with their shooting, it would seem. Uh, Possession-wise, again, dominant, better, you know, but not so good. Like, it's, it's still an improvement, though, and that's the main thing. We did enough to win the game, I felt. Um, next up, we had Ertish in the cup, and this was hilarious because, again, I think we were the better side in this one. I really, really do. Look at that, 23 shots, 9 on target. Could do with a bit more accuracy than that. Um, we took the lead through Marjanovic. Vitaly Lee got back, uh, got an equaliser for them just before half time, but Kukarczyk put us back in front. And I thought we were going to do it, but unfortunately, Muzikov got one back. Now, uh, again, I can't remember if it was a case of. Yeah, and again, we're creating more good opportunities than the other teams, and that's always something to look at. Now, this one ended up going to extra time and then f finally on penalties. And. I knew that, you know how penalty two shout, penalty shootouts can take fucking ages on this game just because of the sheer lack of penalties being missed. They're very rarely ever missed. So basically, when I saw that there was a penalty shootout, I was like, right, this is going to take some time because it's only the cup, but I did kind of want to get through. So I had time to go away, make myself a cup of coffee, come back, sort through some emails on my phone, and the penalty shootout had still not finished. It, oh, they're a pain to watch as well. It really, it took like 10 minutes. It's ridiculous. And it was only like, well, what was that? 17 penalties, actually. Yeah, it took a while. Um, but the point is, we managed to go through. I didn't even see what happened, whether he missed it or whether he won. Oh, it was missed, okay. Um, all I saw was our players running under the pitch. So I was like, right, excellent, we've won. Good stuff. So we are through to the next round. We've been drawn against Shakhtar, though, which is going to be a toughie uh, at home. In fact, we've got to play them at home back to back games. In our next match, though, is the one I was dreading the game that just fucks you. Um, and it was, it's been coming for a while, I felt. Um, unfortunately, once again, we had to make two substitutions in this one through injuries yet again. And the problem is we don't really have a lot that we can bring off the bench most of the time um, because Shetkin's not good enough. Gorbanov just isn't good enough. Yalov, I had never even heard of. I think my sister just put him on the bench. Ospinov doesn't really fit into a lot of the positions we want to play. So it's the problem is that we just don't have the squad depth at the moment. Um, so basically, with this game, it was a very, very strange one. We were vastly the better side in the first half, but couldn't quite break them down. Then, Mozorov, uh, sorry, not Mozorov, Morozov scored an absolute long-range screamer, and I was gutted, because we were fantastic, and they'd scored with their first shot on target of the game, and it was a shocker. Then, we got a bit lucky when Tungushbaev's header rebounded off the post, hit the goalkeeper, and levelled the game up for us. Then, two minutes later, Matteo Botani flew into the penalty area in a wonderful strike from sort of the edge of the box, made it 2-1 to us, and I was comfortable, happy at this point. We're 2-1 up, we're dominating the game. And then Bogdan Müller scored and equalised for them with their second shot on target of the game. But the, the goal that won the game for them was just... Look at this. I, I have to show you this as well because it's just... Oh, we deserve better. Like, look, he's got the ball here. Lovinenko. And then I have a sweeper keeper. Your job, the one thing you're supposed to do is fucking deal with those situations. And we really did not deserve to lose this game. Uh, make no mistakes about this. We did not even deserve to come close to losing this game. But unfortunately, not only did we lose this game, but we also lost Zulzirov and Marjanovic, who are both going to be missing for a little while, from what I remember. We're not looking... It's not looking good on that. But here's how the league shapes up. We are still four points clear at the top, but we're playing against our main rivals today. Uh, one of them, anyway. There's quite a few. And we're, we're doing okay. Like, if you look at the terms of the top six, we are still 13 points clear of Ordabasi, who actually beat us, um, who are the team... You know, we're going to get in the top six, make no mistake. So what I'm going to try and do, actually, and just have a little look, see what the rules are in terms of getting into Europe, because that's one thing I didn't quite look at. Uh, league table, relegation playoff... Qualification. Nope, that's not what I want. Uh, I feel like there should be something else here that I'm not seeing. Doesn't it usually show you the... Uh, sorry about this, guys. Doesn't it usually show you structure? Nope. Why is it not... We do play in the European 
the, in the Champions League, don't we? Hang on, let me just quickly check that. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on there then, guys, because for some reason, um, nothing seems to be coming up. It doesn't tell us how many places we get in Europe, basically. Uh, there's only one there, so that's a bit worrying. Um, hopefully there's not some yet another thing broken with the database. That would kind of suck. Anyway, let's take a little look at the squad quickly before we get into the game. Um, top goal scorer at the moment is Kukarczyk with five, but also Majanovic has done well, but he's going to be missing for a few matches now. Assist-wise, Dungish Bayev's got a decent number of assists too with six. Player of the match is Kukarczyk, just phenomenal. Pass rating? Uh, sort of 87 with Jules Jirov. Uh, average rating, Kukarczyk, of course. Aerial challenges, 28 for Kotov. Key passes, 52 for Marjanovic. He's so important when he plays. Key tackles, 6. Key interceptions, not key interceptions. Interceptions, 135. And, of course, value is that. Now, let me just take a quick gander, actually, at something. I just want to see if we are still leading in terms of uh, player stats for the key passes. I mean, look at that. We've got two players on the key pass stats. We're flying on that. And that, for me, is all, says a lot about the chances we're creating. We're clearly creating a lot of good opportunities. And I think we deserve to be where we are. However, I am worried today. Now, let's see. If they played a 4-3-3... Oh, they're playing a 4-4-2. They played a 4-3-3 last time we played them. But we're good against 4-4-2s as well. So I'm not exactly um, worried. But the problem is, two really, really important players for us are going to be out injured. To join them, you know, PF will be able to come in. But the problem is, those are two creative players. So we're going to have to just see. I assume... Oh, Masriku in the middle, really? I would have gone with Fedorov. Where is he? Mm. Is Masriku even that fit? I'd prefer to not put Masriku in the middle. Can he play there? Hang on, sorry guys. Just going to take a quick gander. I didn't really sign him for that particular part of his game. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, hang on. No, he's not really that type of player. Uh, he's more He's an attacking type of player. We don't want him trying to win the ball back all the time for us. That could be suicidal. Um, Nebyshkovsky. Right, so we'll get... Fedorov and Masriku out on the left. I don't know why it seems to have taken him down there. For me, he's a very, very good winger, and that's where I've been using him. Um, accomplished. That's weird. Hmm, I swear he was natural before. I feel like that's gone down for some reason. Um, Piev and Batani. Yeah, okay. Batani will be the creator because he's better than that, better at that than Piev. Uh, Kotov, Dimitrenko, Kozhab, uh, uh, yeah, Kozabiev, uh, Kabazov. Dweeson. Um, Kavazov did the... I mean, it's the first argument I've had with the player for a while. And he came and said he wanted to leave and join... Uh, I think it was a team in Azerbaijan. Call, uh, not call me. Like, Karaberg, I think they're called. Um, disappointing, basically, to have that happen. And as usual, I couldn't prevent the argument because we've still got shitty player stats. And that being said, I think one of ours has gone up by one, if I remember. Yeah, look, our man management has improved by one, so that's good. But level of discipline, still not showing much. As for media handling, as you can see, 55% now. We are doing nicely on that one. So that is good. Um, other thing is, we managed to get the board to admit, uh, not admit, like agree to let us uh, do another coaching course. So that's fine. We're, we're now studying for our Continental B license. So this is what I'm going with. Is Masriku, his match fitness is terrible, isn't it? We may have to bring him off, but I do want to just put our best team forward for this game because it's the big, it's the crucial one against uh, the, well, the main rivals basically if we're going to win this league this year which i just really don't think we're going to be doing it in the end um this is the team we need to beat we're at hot no we're not we're away okay uh right how much of a boost is uh don't know who he is to be honest <laughs> if i'm honest i don't know who that is i think the problem is being missing people like marjanovic is crew him and oh, those are some of the most crucial games Right, weird thing is, my assistant, again, is not here for some reason, but when we played that cup game, he was. So I don't understand what... The, what ah, He was able to do it for the cup games, but not for the league games. So I don't know what's up with that at all. It makes no bloody sense. Like, the two cup games... No, wait. Yeah, the cup game we played, he was there, and yet he... Ah, strange. Right, let's do this, guys. Um, I really hope that we don't get our asses handed to us. We've really not ever this season had our asses handed to us or even looked like we were going to get that. But I feel like we're probably due a battering at some point. I just really don't want to be in the life. Oh, what a save from Dweeson. Um, good opportunity there for Kyrat to start this game off strongly. They're really going to have to be good. I mean, they're the home team here and they are, you know, the reigning champions of this country as well. Um, but maybe their extra sort of curricular activities and by that, I mean Champions League and whatnot is what happened there? Oh, what about... <sighs> That was some weird, the way that ball bobbled around. I just think that when we're missing players like we are, the, particularly the ones that we are, that's where we're going to be at our weakest. And I feel like 
that's what's going to eventually end up costing us in the long run this season. But the great start that we've had has enabled us to get a really big head of steam up in terms of getting points on the board. And that is at least going to, I think, give us a really solid chance of comfortably getting in the top six. I don't know how the European places for this league works. I might have to check and consult the uh, coefficients and stuff. Oh, flits off there. Very nearly caught out, I suppose. But I don't know if that was the actual... Uh, the opportunity like the highlight per se win that win that win that that's well played except unfortunately he's not we've not won the knockdowns and that's one of the things we usually do very well is what is he doing there i i do not understand why he allowed that ball to go behind him well done dimitrenko ball in oh, oh god it's a bit of a goal mouth scramble kind of spiel at the moment we've managed to clear it again but we're not looking too sharp at this one um i suppose the most difficult game we're going to have this season is going to be away at the reigning champions. And again, it's gone over his fucking head. Goalkeeper's doing a good job of being a sweeper keeper there by not bothering to come out at all. And there we go, we're a be goal behind. I mean, frankly, looking at the stats in this game, we've bloody deserved to be behind. Um, it's all kind of gone wrong since those two goals against Ordabasi. Uh, although it's been coming, you kind of feel that there was a little bit of a win, the, the tide changed a little bit with that, um, with the with the draw and then with the cup game but we had to win on penalties but we've been poor today and i really don't know quite how we're going to change things up if i'm honest um pass completion and possession is about 50 50 but they're just exploiting us because they're the home team but we're not entirely out of the game yet and i don't want our goal difference to get i don't want to do what i usually do which is to go into these games and then when we go or go behind throw everything at them and then end up losing five nil because this genuinely could be an important one for us. Look at the goal differences. They're the same. So if we can avoid getting smashed here, um, then that would be simply marvellous. And you never know. We could still catch them on the break. They're going to sort of... They must change a few things in this second half. They're not just going to sit with the same formation, you would think. So you just never know what we're capable of. Uh, Masriku now. He will probably come off soon. He's got a man out wide. Should have used him. Fedorov. Botani. Is there a slip... Can he slip a ball in? Kukarchuk round the corner for Tungish Bayev. And it's a good save. That's better. A good opportunity. Maybe could have gone for the far post. We're starting to get a little bit more possession. Our pass completion's improving. And this, these are the things that make the difference for this system. I just wonder if they sit off and try to defend... I don't know. Maybe they'll try and go for the killer and that could end up us catching them out. I still feel that there's a 1-1 draw in this game for us somewhere. Botani, Payev... Oh, go on. Go on, have a shot. Oh, what a miss. Oh, I thought, I thought he should have crossed it. But once he cuts inside there, he has to at least work the goalkeeper. That's a really good opportunity. Um... Masrika. They're quite strong in the air, this lot. I don't know how we're doing in terms of winning aerial challenges. Uh, actually, we're doing okay. That's weird. It just seems that every highlight seems to start with them winning a ball in the air. Oh, you should be getting onto the... Oh. When he has that heavy touch, our, I suppose it's because of the system they're playing. Our other guy's kind of occupied. But I still don't feel like we're out of this game. It's only a goal. Um, a goal from one of those stupid over-the-head ones that the defenders just seem to be unable to cut out because they always take a step forward instead of taking a step back and it's so frustrating they just seem to misjudge it and i guess at this level i suppose the problem is also you know because we're away we're playing on a much larger pitch than we're used to and it means that they can hit those balls in behind us um and i'm just wondering if perhaps dropping deeper might just do the trick here i don't like to make too many changes to the tactic but it's something isn't working at the moment oh what a sa oh, i can say what a save but they've put in the rebound there and makarchuk makes that two nil to kairat it's a shame um it would put them only one point behind us but you know again predicted to come eighth this year and we're still top of the league at the moment i still think dropping deeper might do the trick though because they do seem to have this one whoa that's a great <laughs> what a save from doyson uh, unfortunately he's not even facing the right direction to try and get near the second one which is a shame we've not been good enough today but I guess I really do need those guys. Marjanovic is so important to this team. Um, without him, we really do seem to struggle. Tungish Bayev, Botani, go on, an instant, an instant goal back. Masriku, good save again. Chance goes begging. Like, they've had way more shots than us, but it is still only 3 2 on clear cuts, so they have had more half chance, quite a decent amount of half chances as well. So they definitely deserve to be winning this game, which they are. Um, I just, oh, fuck off. He's the one player we cannot afford to lose as well. If there's one player in this team that is the lifeblood of the way we play, and we don't even have a right-sided player that we can bring off the bench because we just have so little. Um, and it's not like I didn't try to bring in players in the sub in the window. It's just so difficult to sign anybody because nobody wants to join you. Nobody would even talk to us. And we couldn't even offer them the contracts because it wouldn't even let us... Ah, oh. We'd agree with the clubs, but then the players just wouldn't... They just weren't interested. I'm going to have to go and do the tactics properly um, from this because we've just got nothing at the moment. Uh, that's the, the right but I just don't even know what we've got on the bench that can even... Uh, if I was to put Tungish Bay at that... Actually, I've played him out there before. I've, mm, 
and then we'll bring on oh my god oh yeah actually that's that's not too bad actually although the wings is kind of a bit dilapidated now and especially when you're two goals down um look stressed oh for god's sake you just cannot say the right things to them most of the time it just seems to be completely impossible um I find it weird that we're getting caught out when we're the ones supposed to be. That surely is offside. Um, Balanov. Oh, I suppose we were going to be due a bad performance from... But the, the worst thing about this, actually, I wouldn't care so much about this poor performance from us if it wasn't for the fact that we played really, really well in the last game and got absolutely robbed. Like, I just feel like you suddenly... That's just completely upset the momentum of the team now. That one... How did that get through? How did that get through? I, I don't get how that got through there. There's... It just goes straight fucking through him. And then there's like... Just the, just the four defenders around him and no one actually bothers to fucking put a tackle in. Uh, I know we've got closed down less, but as I always say, that doesn't mean don't tackle. Uh, it's just been a poor one all round from us, really. Um, I don't see the point. There's no point in us pushing forward trying to get goals here because it's just... It's worthless. They were definitely the better side and they definitely deserve to win this one. I just don't think that 3-0 is a fair... When you look at the actual number of chances created that were any... any oh, come on! Yep, good stuff. I wish we could score goals like that. I really do. They've got a better quality of player as well. But 4-0? I don't know. I feel like we're about to go into a drastic downturn. That game against Odebasi was sort of all you needed to know. Oh, come. What a strike. I mean, that's a fantastic hit. I just... I'd love to... Oh, they're playing 4-3-3. Oh, they were playing 4-3-3 before? No, they weren't, were they? Um, because Bayev. Just square it. Oh, good goal. Good finish. I mean, it's another goal. I just think that... Ignoring the actual number of shots, because it's not really that that I'm that I'm bothered by. It's mainly to do with the number of good opportunities for me. And our pass completion is higher. Possession is good. That's fine. And the number of chances we've created, for me, isn't 4-1 worse than them. Um, it's not as bad as that. And I just feel a little bit... I don't know, the last couple of games, it just feel, feels like the tide is swinging. And obviously, you know, M FM does that. Um, but that last game against Audubassi just really pissed me off. And coming into this one, off the back of that, I think has had a little bit of an effect on the team. Or it certainly feels like it. With the two injuries as well, haven't helped. Um, but at least we've got a goal back. It's going to help the goal difference. Oh, go on, swing it out wide. Tungus Bayev is in here. Go on. Oh, he has to score. Has to score, and he does. And it's now 4-2. <laughs> And we're nearly level. We've got more clear-cut opportunities. Admittedly, two of them were in the co course of scoring that goal. But this is what I mean. Like, what a block, actually. That was The goalkeeper was never going to get the first one. But we've managed to grab ourselves another goal. Do we go for it? Do we overload now? Or do we just say, nah, you know what? Oh, Insta highlight. Brilliant. Unless we go and got another one here, that would be quite something. If we grabbed another one back. Um, although I think they're more likely to grab a fifth goal, if I'm honest. But to score two... Oh, hello. Go on, drop that off. And then make a run in behind. Botani. He's got man out wide, Masriku, who's not been up to scratch today for me. Oh, actually, I should probably make some substitutions. Well, how many subs have I even made? One. Jesus. That was a massive oversight on my part. Um, Kenny Sariev is going to come on for him, and I uh, might just have to bring anyone on here. Oh, Logvinenko. Actually, that's not such a bad idea. We'll bring him on for Fedorov, just to make sure he doesn't get sent off. But this is the problem. The fitness levels are poor, because we're playing so many games in such a short space of time. It's quite destructive. Um, but the game... Everyone else has to deal with it too. So that's all I will say on that, you know. It's not like we're the only ones that are dealing with that issue. Um, but I do have, you know, we've got quite a lot of older players too, which is a bit of a problem. Oh, instant highlight. Just nothing we can do. Like no changes I could have made in that time would have made any difference. 5-2, uh, shame. Um, but, oh well. Um, you're always going to get bad results from time to time. It's just a shame to have this off the back of that terrible result in the last game. But we are still top of the league, so... It's not all bad. Um, and we're right in there. We're still in the top six by a country mile. Well, 10 points. It was 16 at one point, though, which is a bit of a shame. Can't fault the boys who gave him... Uh, I'm just going to ignore him for a minute because I don't think that's the right thing to be saying right now. Uh, I don't know. For me, 5-2 seems a bit much. Uh, they've had a lot of shots, but they didn't really create any that many good opportunities with them. Well, they did. They created enough to score goals, but I don't know. I just feel like that one, 5-2 is a little bit harsh. But hey, we move on. We've got some slightly easier games coming up, I'd like to think. But we'll get ourselves into the... Um, and it's going to make a difference towards the end of the season. I think we probably could end up finishing sixth, mainly just because once the split happens in the 22nd match, it's going to be a case of us having to play all the best sides again home and away and if we've got injuries and lack of squad depth at this point they probably will all be able to get points won over us so it might end up with us dropping down but I suppose that would at least fulfill the board's uh, expectations for the season and shown that we really could 
go for it and have a good tactic. Uh, we just need to sort of strengthen in the right areas and we might have um, a real recipe for some potential future success. Anyway, let's t sorry, this episode's gone on for too long again. I really am trying to keep them short, but they just keep going on for too long. Um, so, what can we do in our next episode? Mm. I'm thinking Astana at home would be the next best one to do. Yeah, I'm thinking Astana at home. I, I, I wasn't... I want to do that. I want to do a Shakhtar game, but there's not enough space in between, really, for me. Uh, so we'll do a Stana 64 at home. Hopefully a winnable game. We've got some winnable ones in that little spell, so we'll need to make sure that we pick up some points. Hopefully some players will come back from injury. But as you can see again... Um, oh, actually, Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Right, things ease off for a little bit, which is good, because we've been on a horrific run. And then it really does seem to ease off nicely. So that should be better. Hopefully we've gone through the worst spell we're going to have and maybe we can get back to winning ways hopefully sometime soon so guys if you like what you've seen please do drop a like on the video and if you'd like to even more than that please subscribe to my channel for more red uh, well for more red star and outcaster icons in your inbox every single day at 5 30 and 8 o'clock and i'll see you guys in the next episode for the game against astana i'll see you guys soon Bye bye